Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Republic of Cuba. A to Z brings us to the Caribbean today, and we will be playing as Cuba. And we'll be using the Road to 56 mod because I cannot stand another unmodded run of a nation with no focus tree and no goals. And at least this gives us something to work with. Okay, so what do we have? Four civilian factories of which we can use a couple. Three military factories, okay. And a little bit of manpower, two units here, a couple of airplanes no navy, and a big boil in the shape of the United States of America who is squatting on Guantanamo Bay. Ah, you want to say sticking their nose where they don't belong. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, I have a nice goal here in the form of Unite the Caribbean. All we have to do is conquer Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and that will allow us to form some sort of United Caribbean nation. That also gives us a bunch of cores in the area. So what will we be actually trying to do? We are going to go for all of our cores. So we will be conquering everything here, including Guantanamo Bay, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. So uh, we have our work cut out for us. That also means this man has to go. Democracy is not going to cut it. We have two paths available to us. The democratic path, like I said, is off the table. It, it, it can be powerful, but it's not what we want today. We are going with victory for Garcia Menocal. Menocal, I have no idea. This is just another democratic path. Trial of the officers. Not that interesting. It doesn't really give us anything. Batista's coup leads down to abandoning capitalism and becoming communist, which is quite funny because the reason Cuba became communist under Fidel is because Fidel overthrew Batista, who who staged the coup and ruled as a dictator to then be replaced by a different dictator. And then there is nationalist influence over the military leading to a little bit of brown shirt madness, but, but, I see very powerful focuses here. Army expansion, 5% recruitable population, which is going to be incredibly valuable if we are to tackle the USA. Free war goals on Hispaniola, so that would be um, Dominican Republic and Haiti. I see some very strong bonuses here. And all of these allow you to join various fascist factions, should they pop up. I think, realistically, the only one we're going to see is the one with, uh, you know, Germany in it, the Axis. The others would have to be formed, and on a the AI is not that good at forming its own factions and doing so competently. So I'm thinking we're going to go fascist for this run. I know I can hear the screeching already in the comments. You always do this bitter deal. And I have to fight the USA and I want to do so on uh, the best footing I can. So let's start with the results of the presidential elections and we'll do some basic industry build up first. We're also going to need to research some sort of boat. You know, instead of construction, I'm going to research some sort of boat. I'm thinking destroyers. I could go for a pure submarine navy. Would be cheap. Would probably be somewhat effective. But I kind of want to use actual navies. So the heavy cruiser destroyer meta. I think I still want to run that. And we're going to lead with a couple of destroyers. Production. We'll add an MIO and just make guns and convoys. That's pretty much all we're going to make at the start of this until we've researched something else, which we we haven't. We don't know what artillery is. In terms of construction, we're just going to lead with uh, yeah, a little bit of infrastructure. After those are built, we'll probably be ramping up towards military factories, maybe even a couple of dockyards, depending on the state of things. The army we can assign to Fugenzo Batista, and we'll add a field marshal as well, and they can exercise for now. I don't want the cavalry unit. We'll just go with pure infantry, and I will be renaming all of these to channel members. Unfortunately, <laughs> my, my, my channel member mom isn't working combined with route to 56 so great i'll have to do it manually so congratulations julian and blitzkaiser you are the first ones here we're also going to get rid of the air force because it's trash and because i can still make money off it i'm going to sell these two terrible airplanes uh, well these 23 terrible airplanes at a high price to whoever wants them. I don't want them. And just like that, we are off to the races. Now, first off, I want to say a massive thank you for hitting 200,000 subscribers here. It's been a wild ride and I want to celebrate. And to do that, I have come to you with something that I hope you'll like. These are some high quality, beautiful mouse pads. The design made by an actual human for once in this age of AI art. So, Disc, you've done a wonderful thing with this. I love the style. I love the colors. I love everything about it, including the hidden details. Cool product, something useful, and it's not just my logo slapped onto something that's readily available. These are some really high quality mouse mats. I love the stitching. I've been using this one for a while. It's uh, like the test sample they sent me. I 
Love it. Now you can tell that the people who make this Epic Desk, I've partnered with them mostly because like the founder knows what you want. Trey is a PC gamer himself. He started Epic Desk because he was frustrated from the lack of creativity and honestly questionable build quality of what you can buy online mostly and they have done some wonderful designs over the years and now i'm very excited to partner with them myself look if you guys want one of these there is only one opportunity to get them these are the dates miss them and you will never see this mouse pad again it will never restock it's one and done so if you want one of these check out the link down below it will bring you right to the product page i am excited for these i will continue to use these and i hope you guys are excited for them as well anyway back to the video ah uh, the dutch they have a hunger for bad airplanes as does colombia brilliant what we're gonna do is work our way down to the presidential election this starts an event chain in the background you don't actually see it and a little bit of time will actually get the inauguration of the new president in May 20th. So we have a little bit of time. We have roughly, what, four months? Do I want the dockyards? I kind of do want the dockyards that I can get from this. So naval dockyards, we're going to need anyway to build those destroyers, but I'm still researching them. So uh. then we can go down, focus on sea dominance, study foreign ship designs, like all of this valuable, but these two are incredibly valuable if I want them. I have to get them early if I want them. Why? They are only available if we're democratic or non-aligned. So this gives us cheaper destroyers and convoys, incredibly powerful. And the American version gives us very good dockyard output. Both are pretty good. Alternatively, we go with the industrial buildup and start some uh, militarization and industrialization. Alternatively, we go with the army. We grab the Cuban general staff, which gives us a ticking modifier for army experience. And then we can head down to here to unlock training exercises which is more free army experience. So many things that we need to do and so many choices that we have to make. I'm bad at making choices. I just want all of it. But if we are to invade our neighbors, we're going to start with naval dockyards. Might be a mistake, but we'll figure it out soon enough. All right, general election. This one leads to democracy. This one leads to alternative forms of democracy. We have 50 political power and we can hire Fulgencio Batista as the old guard chief of army. This is not as good for army experience as, say, Genoveve, who gives us 30 or well 0.30 per day this guy also gives us 0.30 per day but what he does do is give us seven percent political power and 0.15 experience per day so i'm thinking we get him early milk him for all the political power he can give us and then when we've made all the political power choices that we realistically want i can still switch out for genoveve perez de mara yes that's what i'm thinking i should probably be queuing up a couple of divisions as long as we have manpower eight divisions that brings us up to 10 a full complement for naval invasions we have our dockyard focus i'm gonna now focus on sea dominance i think so i'm just gonna grab stuff like mechanical computing now industry techs i'm also gonna need naval gunnery and torpedo so i can actually make semi-decent destroyers that will actually serve their purpose that's early destroyers let's get 1936 destroyers as well i don't like early destroyers well 1936 destroyers aren't that much better but they're slightly better now i'll hire the cuban general staff this gives us an uh, xp tick better get it early rather than later the inauguration event lie. So this was supposed to happen the 20th. We are now led by this man with a very nice suit. He looks like a, a bit of a, a discount Colonel Sanders or maybe like a southern plantation owner. He's given up those vibes. Let's start by this focus. Oh, it just bypasses. Great. Yeah, let's grab left wing reforms and invite the phalangists. Slow and steady wins the race. We got the 36 destroyers. Now I want artillery. More political power. Uh, let's get the silent workhorse. Get him early. Get more political power in. I'm gonna grab Marine we need to start building up and planning. Focus is done. Let's defeat Batista's influence. This will cause him to march on Havana. You now he can march all he likes. He's not getting anything this time. We'll also hire the demagogue now. That should see us get a little bit of tick and support here. We need this at 40% to be able to secure power. So best get it early. Right, with the artillery research, I want to actually start making some. So I'll take a couple of factories off guns. I have plenty and we'll go into artillery. Fresh factories go back into guns. Batista marches on Havana. Either the garrison sides with Batista and the coup succeeds and he seizes power. Let's instead uh, have the garrison side with the government and the coup fails. Goodbye, Fulgencio Batista. All right, let's send the American naval yards first, the flat 5%. Then we'll grab the British one. Hopefully that stays in place when we flip because if it doesn't, well, I'll, I'll just start the recording again. Colin and Radic, I want you storming Port-au-Prince. Kaiser and Kevin, I want you hitting... 
Cap Haitian and Blitzkaiser and Julian. Congratulations, you can go to that southern bit there. We got the mission to the, mission to the naval yards of Britain. We will now secure power and work our way down to the war goals. How is this looking? This is looking fine. Our military industry is horribly outdated and useless. Our civilian industry isn't much better better. We definitely need to grab some land. All right, let's move up to partial mobilization. Hurrah! We are now somebody else. We'll grab some of these. Maybe state intervention first, then army expansion and uh, invade Hispaniola. Fortunately, the American ship production methods and the escort efforts stick around, so we'll be able to make more ships. That's great. I can also research trains now. We'll figure out how trains work. Glorious. I'm also going to start spending some of this naval experience to elevate the Marine Corps, unlock pioneers, work our Way, all the way down there. Let's stop the exercises. The naval invasion is prepared. Invade Hispaniola. Next focus is shoot for focus ha, on industry. So we're going to grab a bunch of this stuff. We're going to declare war. Nobody else is going to get involved. Launch the naval invasions. Get the navy here to patrol for a little bit. And we're off to the races. Yeah, they have two units, one of whom is on Capacien and the other is on Porto Prince. We'll take Porto Prince with the support attack and then we'll take the other victory point we should have this one secured we'll take the other infantry bring them over here park them on this border that's gonna force uh, the dominican republic to put their troops on our new border here and the marines are now going to go around one two three units from porto prince to santo domingo two three units from porto prince to the tile next to porto prince i should be able to land there relatively easily peace deal simply annex everything we can core it in a little bit confirm and exit naval invasions are ready will declare war. Nobody's going to get involved. I've explained how guarantees work. So if America is guaranteeing both you and your target, they won't get involved unless they have done reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine. If you do that, the Americans can intervene in any war between a fascist or communist country and a democracy in the Americas. They haven't done that yet, so we're free to go. So simply launch the naval invasions. They should be well on their way and all their troops are on the border there so bada bing bada boom we can now unite the caribbean click love that color the caribbean union state it also gives us a bunch of cores in the area so places like jamaica the abc islands i think trinidad as well so all of the caribbean holdings are now cores this isn't bermuda doesn't count florida doesn't count nothing mainland here counts so all these tiny little islands though they are now ours to take and take them we will Eventually Eventually. And with more political power to spend, let's grab the military theorist and start working on doctrines. I know, I know. Why are you always picking superior firepower? It's because I love it. I love it so much. I know grand battle plan's good. Some say it's even the best. I disagree. I prefer superior firepower. I don't want to lean on the crutch. That is planning bonuses. I don't use planning bonuses. I want to decide my offensives on the fly. And the extra soft attack is just... So damn juicy. Let's uh, justify Nicaragua as well. I'm going to do it manually. It takes a little bit longer, I know. But nobody should really be getting involved. I haven't generated enough world tension for the AI to notice. And if I do it slowly enough, I can still grab a bunch of this land in a relatively short time span. But also nobody's going to care. Now let's add pioneers here and some support artillery. Can I afford it? Kind of. We're ramping up militarization here. So everything is going fairly well. Construction's rolling along nicely. We're starting to make some more stuff i should probably add anti-air to the list as well and next up we'll justify on somebody else in the region costa rica i can probably take costa rica easily forget el salvador here yeah i guess get rid of el salvador no they got that neutral foreign policy going on anyway naval invasion patrol here go naval invade and we've landed half the marines go there you go there and we've won bada bing bada boom now i'm only gonna annex this i think i want to turn this into a, a string of puppets so we can use the puppet decision here and to add resource rights and factory rights that pretty much gives us what we want and they will still do their focus trees so i think that's a way cleaner yeah oh he's got some nice sunglasses yeah i think that's a way easier or better way to do it than to just annex everything i don't want to annex all of that stuff because i don't want to get garrison it don't have the manpower for it anyway and i now i can use their factories to get this done i can use their factories to build more stuff and i always like having more stuff the next target is nicaragua and again i'm just gonna use the marines why would i call in the puppet if i don't have to i could just use marines to do it the extra recruitable pop is gonna be very valuable let's see if i can add the artillery here yet all right i can afford the artillery expense and i'll train a couple more of uh there goes the manpower i'll train a couple more infantry 
infantry divisions. We're going to need them. Welcome to the fold, Nicaragua. We'll declare that war. Marines just invade. Yes, I know. I could call Honduras in and make a land assault. I don't want to. And we'll overrun them easily enough. And again, we'll just turn them into a puppet, take the resources, and take the factories. We got an extra research slot. Might as well use it. I'm going to need all of this if I'm going to fight the UK anyway. And the better artillery. I need so much stuff. Yeah, I think we can gobble these guys up and then casually move our forces into Germany. Make sure we make friends with them. Move our navy here and prepare for a naval invasion of the UK and then join that war as soon as we're ready. We'll try to quickly knock out the UK and get as much war score as we can get. Because we only want two things. One is all of these islands that we can grab. They are our cores, so the AI shouldn't contest us too much. Two... Oh, actually, I want three things. So two is maybe a couple of puppets in the region, like here, these colonial holdings maybe. And then three is as much of the UK's navy as I can steal, because I'm going to need a lot of boats if I'm going to go and uh, invade the United States of America afterwards. There goes El Salvador. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Beautiful. Another puppet for the collection. We're going to have a chat with Germany. You want us to join the Axis? We can join the Axis, but I'll do that later. We'll start by asking for military access first. We don't want to give the British uh, any indication of what we're planning. So these guys are going to head down here. Everybody over to there. Oh, no, that doesn't actually work. I'm going to have to join the faction because I... Oh, it's going to be annoying. I'll just join the faction. It's, it's going to be way cleaner doing it this way. There we go. We're not going to join any wars straight away. We're going to hit the area around the hull and we're trying to try and carve our way through. This is just my usual strategy. You've seen me do this a thousand times. So we're going to hit this general area here and then just a few base infantry units to hit the south as a distraction. Hopefully we can land in Hull, take this, uh, take the port in the city, push right through to Liverpool, essentially cut the country in half. Five or six divisions just go north. Everybody else go south and cut the British to ribbons. Now I need to wait for those units to actually arrive. It shouldn't be too much longer. And I'll also... Wait for a little bit of army experience. The naval invasions are set. And now naval invasions support in these regions. And it looks like... Where's the Royal Navy? It looks entirely like the UK has just not deployed its navy. Unless, of course, I now join the war. And it, it, it flips. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm expecting. What I should be expecting here. I'll join the German-Polish war. Oh, no. We still have naval supremacy. Where's the Royal Navy? Looks like there's a lot of troops home. But we can still land. We'll, we'll take Grimsby. And then uh, proceed as usual. Supporting attack there. And a supporting attack there. We'll land here as well. Unopposed. Supporting attack. And go south. We'll take York. We'll take everything we came for. That is hull secured. And with hull under our control, we'll ship the remaining infantry over. Let's finish this. All right. We got Costa Rica involved. Let's grab Panama as well. They should all join the peace deal when we inevitably bring Britain to its knees. The remaining infantry is also arriving. So we should have this area under control relatively soon now. It's going well. All right. Let's also draw Panama into this mix. Yes, yes, yes. They'll join the allies. That will allow me to gobble up most of this region in one go. All this with relatively shitty infantry. So I'm, uh, I'm really happy with the results so far. Our contribution is up to almost 10%. So I'll definitely be able to take my cores. Not sure what I'll be able to take besides those. Oh, am I engaged in naval battles here? That's probably not a good idea. Let's conserve what remains of the navy. I want to see if I lost any ships. No. Oh, yeah. Just convoys, though. It doesn't matter. Peace deal. Perfect. What do we want? First of all, we want all of our cores in this area. That's the first thing. Secondly, we'd like some puppets in the area. It's not that expensive. I kind of want these puppets as well. I kind of, I, I, minor oversight on my part. Should have clicked those buttons earlier, so we'll, we'll devote a little bit more points to these. All right, so Germany is intent on fighting me over some of that, but I think I can get most of what I want in the area. Yeah, I got all of the stuff I wanted here. Bunch of puppets, all of our cores, and I think the other points I have, I'm simply going to spend on Navy. I would very much like to have a big bad navy. We have our nice collection of puppets in the area. We also have all the cores that we could get here off the allies. There's just the Americans left. They are our next target. We have a very nice string of allies in the region to help us. And we don't actually have to go for the Americans straight away. I can use the time that I have now to do a little bit of justifying, see if we can get a war going and take out stuff like Venezuela. Am I still in a war? Apparently I'm still in a war. 
with the Kingdom of Bhutan. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever, but I really don't care. So these guys are coming home, and apparently we're gonna go to war with the Kingdom of Bhutan. Also, apparently, we have a massive, massive navy. In Havana, we have the world's largest navy, I think. So uh, let's grab more and more and more of South America before we uh, decide to tackle the Americans. Everybody's in position. They will probably join what's left of the Allies. Don't really care. Just launch this invasion. We can start gobbling up more and more of South America until we're ready to turn our eye on the big bad blue thing in the north. Yeah, Venezuela seems not all that impressive, if I'm honest. Why am I sharing all these points with Germany? Oh, well, doesn't matter. I think that war is over. United States of Venezuela are now firmly under our boot. I think I'll head for Colombia while I wait. I'm gonna declare war, not gonna call any allies. And again, they're still guaranteed by America. We're still guaranteed by America. It seems like the Americans just don't want to intervene, which is perfectly fine by me. Quickly invade and overrun them. I think then we'll, we'll just very hard focus on the USA. Maybe take out Mexico to get a nice southern border. That will be a good place to start. We'll justify on the Mexicans next, and then we'll have uh, a clean shot at the USA and end the campaign. Ah! I was going to fight Mexico anyway. There goes Colombia anyway. Now just need to mop up the Mexican troops here. And I think that's gonna be like the majority of the Mexican army. I'll just kill them, redeploy for a naval invasion, and just take out Mexico. That's gonna be a nice little bonus there. And Colombia's mine. Hurrah. Redeploy these guys to make sure the ports are secured, and then just get my marines in position. We'll strike from Havana and try to rip out the heart, or at least close to the heart, either Veracruz or Ciudad Victoria. Either of those will work. I could start like a land war, but I don't want to push through the south. It's pretty terrible. I'll just land here, extend the front beyond what they can handle. They got some coastal defenses, but not nearly enough to fend off this assault, and we'll simply start spreading out. I don't expect this to really be much of a problem. The Caribbean armed forces have entered Mexico City. Fun little faction you made here, Mexico, but it's not gonna save you. I think as soon as we storm Guadalajara, that should be it. Uh, maybe a little more. Durango, Guadalajara, maybe even a uh, little of uh, the north as well. Ah, there we go. Mexico folds. So I'm just going to puppet both of these. I don't think there's any course to be had. I'll take all of your beautiful navies and let's create ourselves a couple of puppets. Colombia with all the resource rights and Mexico with all of the resource rights. Ah, uh, the United Mexican States under some guy. It looks like the US of A is now entirely surrounded. Good. Good with borders. We don't even have to watch. We are going to prepare. Now, I could go up here through Mexico and invade the USA that way or call the Germans in and have them land. But I want to do it in a pretty way. I want to storm the beaches of Miami with my troops coming in from Havana. I want to do it in a way that's a little more cinematic. I'm also going to be preparing a little bit more. I want shock troops. Shock troops are expensive. So I'm just going to duplicate my Marines. There we go. And we'll, we'll, we'll call these the stormtroopers. And I'll uh, I'll start switching these, these guys out for shock troops. I think that'll get me 30 with shock troops. Yeah, because motorized shock troops would probably be better, but can't afford the expense right now. Oops, that was wrong. So that costs me exactly 16. So we'll use the Marines to land. And we have 10 Marines, that should be sufficient. And then we'll follow up with our shock troops. Let's see how many of these we can make. So five shock troops. Can we make more? Seven shock troops. It'll have to do for now. We'll have to do. I'll keep the shock troops to storm Guantanamo Bay. Seems appropriate. And I'll use the basic infantry for the time being to uh, guard all of our ports. We do have quite a few ports that would need guarding. Just until we've established naval superiority in the region. And these guys got seven more divisions for the time being. Let's see. I don't want to immediately storm the beaches. Well, I kind of do, but I got to be realistic. That's probably not the world's greatest idea. So I'll take a couple of my Marines and put them like here to take out the island of Puerto Rico. And then once we've secured the immediate area, we've gotten all those islands under control. We'll start 
planning our naval invasion of Miami, probably around Tampa Bay, so we can immediately take the massive Florida Dong, and from there we'll try pushing up. I will need more men. Okay, uh, we're recruiting. I guess we're doing this. I could also just leave the Axis now, which would be incredibly funny. But I'm not calling anyone in. We are up against the U.S. of A. As of right now, Marines are moving in. All right, the stormtroopers are moving in. We'll take Guantanamo Bay. These Marines are going to move in, take the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Naval invasion here is going to take the Panama Canal. We have naval dominance, so this should be good. There we go. As Cuba control Guantanamo Bay. Beautiful. We have our stuff back. Looks like the invasion of Puerto Rico is also gone perfectly well. These guys are all going to get destroyed, pushed out, and we have taken Puerto Rico. Congratulations. The Caribbean is under our boot heel entirely. Now we just need to bring the Americans to their knees. So the idea is to land en masse in the tip of the Florida Dong, flood in stormtroopers after the initial landing, and then uh, a, a pure infantry army after them to uh, follow up and then try to push as far up America up Florida as we can. Hopefully we can get to a line from New Orleans to Washington. Maybe like sit on the Appalachians because we don't have that many units. I can train probably another army if my manpower allows, so I should do that. But I gotta be conservative here. I don't have the men to throw away and in terms of equipment I have good supplies but they won't last indefinitely so I gotta be a little careful there. Well the Marines are getting intercepted but that's okay. We are on our way to Tampa Bay, pin the units in place. We should be able to la land. Come on, naval invasions. Come on, this was supposed to be a coordinated effort. All right, things are looking up. Things are looking up. I think we can land in Miami. And once we take Miami, we follow up with the stormtroopers and the entire load, full load, full combat load up in there and head north for Atlanta. Land, you bastards. Oh, everyone, well, almost everyone that I sent over got wrecked. The Navy's got, it did nothing. The Navy's just did nothing. I'm already in a deadlock and I haven't even made it out of the Florida panhandle. Everything that I've sent over has been intercepted. I am sinking a lot of their ships. Problem is they've got a lot more and the supply routes just aren't, aren't functioning. I think it's mostly their tanks that I'm afraid of. Their tanks and the fact that I have no supply. That's my problem. Everything else is fine. My units are fine. I cannot face off against their tanks. I cannot pierce them. Jesus Christ, they must have good tanks then. Bunch of medium... T oh, yeah. And I don't even have anti-tank research, so I can't reliably... Oh, no! I'm getting reinforced memed out of here already? Oh, we're gonna die. After each battle, these guys just get completely drained. All right, I'm bringing over the other guys. So after each battle, it, the, the, the strength bar on these guys just evaporates. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I sent my army across. They've instantly been intercepted. All right, fine. We're pulling back to Cuba. We're all leaving. We're going back to Havana. And I'm going to lose all these units, aren't I? No, they're going to make it out. Are they going to make it out of the port? Get out. Please get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, no. I just lost nine divisions. They certainly gave me a bloody nose there. They humiliated me. Well, that looks like a nice naval battle that I can't see. I definitely shredded their fleet there. I lost pretty much nothing except for some bombers. I think they sunk. Oh, they lost three carriers, a battleship, four heavy cruisers. Yeah, at least like the naval battles are going well. But that's about it. I just check my manpower losses because I was curious where it all went. Holy cow. I've taken higher casualties than the Americans have. It's just not great. Definitely going to try another naval invasion of Florida. Order, but I'm gonna need to back it up with a whole lot more firepower. Fortunately, it looks like the Soviets are probably dead soon. I'm building up a spy network. I'm gonna work my way through that to get something going there. I am whittling down their navy, so in terms of the U.S. Navy, it, there won't be a U.S. Navy there in a little bit. Well, the USSR is down at least. I can beg Germany to come help now. Ah! Suck it, USA. There goes the Pacific Fleet or the Atlantic Fleet, whatever. Oh, good. Some good news. The Japanese have taken Pearl Harbor. We can work with that. Germans and Italians are flooding in troops to cover the border as well. I'm going to be calling them in, I think, eventually. Let's see if we can at least land here. We shouldn't be getting convoy rated to bits anymore because, according to this, they have two submarines left and my Navy has total dominance of the region. Chipping all those guys over. We'll see before we send any more reinforcements in what the situation on the ground 
ground is like. Yep, 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 yep. We're, we're in this time. We are definitely in this time and we can make a bit of a more ambitious push. I'll push up to the next rivers and from there, keep hopping in, keep funneling more troops in. Now that they don't have submarines, there's nothing they can do to really stop me from actually bringing my strength to bear. Just grab as much land as possible, as quickly as possible before everything becomes a shit show as the Americans pull troops in. Because right now they're wasting men defending against Mexico, which isn't in the war. They're going to waste men defending their northern border, which I'm not going to call in. 18 divisions in Detroit. My God. While all those troops are thankfully busy somewhere else, I gotta make the most of it and just go, 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 go before they wake up. Time for a strong drive towards the east coast. Secure as much of the territory there as I can. Fresh troops are flooding in from the mainland. I'm taking casualties, but not that many. Keep boosting my soft attack because they still, but well, they do have tanks, yes, but most of what they have is infantry and infantry just disintegrates under my barrage of soft attack here. Got a thousand defense though, that's, uh, that's impressive. All right, losses are mounting. I'm going to need to be careful and conserve manpower here. That said, we've made a good, good foray here. I think we definitely hurt them. I think that's the last remains of the American Navy here that we're picking off slowly but surely. I love these naval battles. This Navy is actually quite competent. Yeah, Americans are starting to muster a lot more strength now, which is slightly problematic, and I am bleeding men. This is a problem because I still can't go to service by requirement due to the massive penalties I'm taking to my war support. Hello, I just found a button that gives me manpower. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the aggressive population growth policies. Procreate, folks. Massive American counterattack pushing me back. How? They're like pushing me with impunity now. They know, they know, they know I'm out of manpower. They must know that I'm out. Yeah, I'm already 100,000 men short. God, I don't have the men for this. I wasted so much manpower on that initial landing. I would have 200,000 men available. I'm going to have to call the Germans in just to get this over with. Look at the collapse of my front. It's just, it's going, it's going, it's going. It's, it's just folding in on itself. My air force can no longer replenish its losses. I'm just getting bodied by the AI. Well, this Despite the nightmarish casualties, the, um, the special forces are still able to advance. Uh, it's, it's probably not the best course of action right now, but I need to keep shortening the line and getting into a better position. We are right outside Washington. I can, I can, I can smell their fear already. A little bit more, a little bit more war support, and I can go up another conscription law. And then we can finally end this. Germans are stealing all of our war participation, but it's fine. It's fine. Italy hasn't done anything useful. It's just Germany tying up American troops. And honestly, they're doing so poorly. There's not been a major German push that hasn't been repelled. The Marines have successfully crossed. We're going to head on and try to push north, see if we can threaten Washington from both sides. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. In that case, you guys head on there. Like Two pronged attack going on Washington and we've extended the line. So we've taken Washington, D.C., Baltimore and Philadelphia in that little river crossing operation. That was good. That was great. OK, the line is buckling. The forces are dying. People are not going to enjoy this, but it has to be done. Just hit the buffalo. The rest of you mop this up. Close the gap. This is disgusting and horrible. I know. It. I know it is. I, I absolutely understand that this is not optimal in any way, shape or form, but it is the closest I have to a plan right now. Okay, so that is that entire eastern flank here shut down. Push in there. It's, again, a dumb terribly, terribly dumb idea. All units there. You guys full force over on that flank. Go, 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 go. Let's just mop this eastern bit up and then sit back, lick my wounds because I have a lot of wounds. I have several hundred thousand men worth of wounds, 330,000 men short. I don't know if I can even mobilize that many. Oh, and in a twist that shocks absolutely no one, Germany started losing against the Americans. Now I gotta go and shore up that. Yeah, it's gone on long enough. What if I just call Mexico into the war? That should open up another front, right? Oh yeah, with the Mexican front opened, uh, I think that's it. That was what I needed to topple their might. Okay, that opens the floodgates in the south. To the north, they're all kind of busy. And in the east, well, we control a lot of the east, just not, not enough of it. 
I'd say. I'd like to control more. We got a breach anyway. Let's just get going. See if I can cut off Michigan from the south and take it for myself. Total collapse of the American fronts is going on now anyway. I think we can uh, we can capitalize on this and get to Chicago. And then maybe I can go get a pincer going for half my uh, elites from Atlanta, half my elites from Chicago and try to meet them. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. There's more Americans in place than I thought there would be. Convert everyone here to stormtroopers. Yes, I'm many, 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 many men short but i just don't need marines right now half you guys let's see no, no let's reorganize so i want to set up an attack from chicago down towards uh indianapolis so let's let's aim for nashville and then half these guys from atlanta also aim for like the general nashville area try and cut off that american front there i don't like it but we're going up to all adults serve it's going to do horrible horrible things to my industry oh my god where is my I, i'm running very low on equipment uh fortunately i have many factories available to me so, jesus this is turning into an expensive little habit but we'll be fine we'll mobilize more men i think we're pretty much out of our deficit right now almost all right let's see if this works Just just, I've, I've stopped thinking my brain's completely shut down, but if I can get this infantry offensive moving and we can meet around Nashville, we can do very funny things with the special forces. Yeah, it looks like we'll meet in the middle and then cut off that entire section of the remaining American forces. They are encircled, so even if they withstand the first couple of assaults, eventually they're going to crack. Now, I admit this probably hasn't been the cleanest invasion of the Americas. With my uh, brain turned off, it's turned into quite the slog, but uh, we'll We'll make it work. I don't need to brain the wind this. That is the last fighting forces on the east eliminated and I can finally plan for the last push. We'll go through Mississippi and Alabama trying to link up in Texas. That should bring us to the Mexican border and then it's just a rush on San Francisco and Los Angeles and it's going to be over. Just a little bit more. I think Houston, Dallas and then maybe Los Angeles. USA is almost there. San Diego is going to fall and then it's just I think California, maybe San Francisco, and that's that's probably gonna be it. I don't think they have anything else that's major. Like Denver's not a real city, Salt Lake City is not a real victory point. None of these really have all that many points. We can win. Let's casually drive into Los Angeles and see what happens. Well, apparently that happens. United States of America is defeated. Millions have died so that I could take what two islands and a military installation. That brings us to the final. Peace deal. The world stands, um, well, under the axis. We have taken Guantanamo Bay. We have taken Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. We have consolidated our position. We've also taken the Panama Canal, which we will obviously be returning to the National Republic of Panama. Beautiful. Yeah, we also did something to the north here. Uh, <clears throat> there's a Confederate, uh, <laughs> there's a Confederate States of America, but we, we were, we're not going to talk about that. They're our puppet anyway. Classic Cuban puppet, Confederate States of America. Looking at this, Cuba has gone from minor power, well, insignificant power to a world leader in terms of naval power, land dominance, and all in all, we are well positioned if we were to want to fight the Germans. Our fleet can destroy anything they have. I can overrun them in America should I want to. I just don't really have all that much manpower, but I can now steal... Oh. I was going to say I can steal a lot of American manpower. Apparently, they don't really have that much. Well, anyway, this is where we're going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Route to 56 playthrough. I had a lot of fun playing as Cuba. I would never have touched this country if it wasn't for the A to Z challenge and this mod. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will enjoy the next one as well. See ya.